Well, howdy tubers. Well, here they are. The next morning, all weighted, all weighted down, and the and that gorilla glue's all expanded out of there. So let me get all this weight off of there and see what we got. Okay, let's see what we got. Like I told you, I put uh, wax paper so keep it from sticking either to the to the wing itself or to the the cradle. And there we go. There's one. Now I can get to the well, get to using the uh, amazing, amazing, amazing little master air screw plane to get this leveled off. Just to get it smooth with the the foam. So, I guess that's enough of showing you this part. Well, something I keep forgetting to show you that I I mark what is what and the orientation it was in uh in this of course foam block before it was before the wings were cut out so i thought i'd show that and then of course i've got top on there and then so you know that's the top and so on and so forth there but i just got a message from well i guess i just just get it it was three hours ago uh, but I've been talking to Alan in um, Florida about his building an H5. Uh, <coughs> but anyways, Frederick was talking about his covering, and I I said, oh, I didn't didn't show you my covering. Of course, I've got that red monocoat there, but I got covering in here. Oh, I did didn't show you where it's at. Before, behind, behind door, door number two. I open it up, and there's my monocoat and whatever else, and there's uh, wire and um, dowels, and I think this is MDF stuff. I, let me get my flashlight. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, that's M well, MDF and some wood for what, I don't know. And I got some SIG um uh well canopy stuff, windshield stuff, whatever. And sockets and and uh celastic to make to make uh little covers like that. I haven't ever used the stuff yet, but I've thought about using it on my stagger wing. More sockets, sockets. Oh, yeah. Okay, I do have some black so I can make my iron crosses on the wings of the, and on the fuselage of the stick. Anyway, let's get back to the... to this. I cut out... A couple of pieces of, I mean, I, I cut my own because they don't make it, of eighth inch by five eighths that I'm going to epoxy 
to this leading edge. But before I do that, I always take an awl. There we go. An awl, which this happened to come from a Byron's kit. If you remember Byron Originals, I've had several of their airplanes. And if I can see. And I'm like, there we go. And just poke a bunch of holes in the leading edge to give the epoxy something to bite into. It's just something I do. And then I'm going to epoxy those onto the leading edge. And then, of course, use once that sets up, then use my wonderful little razor plane to to shave it down to match this leading edge curvature. And then that's when the fun will begin. So look forward to that. Now, uh, maybe somebody ought to say whether or not I ought to make another channel for models or not. I was thinking about that a while ago. I thought maybe that would be something, and I don't know how to do that, but I'll just put that out there. Anyways, uh, this will just be added on to another one. Okay, tubers, here's where it comes to my uh, different way of doing foam wings. And faster way. And so I will show you. Uh, first off, today I went out to possibly fly, uh, and then, uh, and, but I did some mowing, and Philip from South Africa come out, and we did a lot of talking, and then when he left, I thought, well, after I, looking over the Ultra Cruiser, and the spinner's cracked again in one place, uh, Maybe I'll put a picture of that at the end of this video, but of course this is supposed to be about this, but anyways, I'm put that picture in there if I remember. And oh, and I'll have to do it the power director way anyway, since I'm linking this to the video I did a while ago, or this morning, I guess actually. So um uh, I'll show you what I've done. Okay, I took some of course I mean this this is just because of this particular airplane or this particular wingspan or whatever. But took some 332nd by 4 and cut it inch and a quarter here. And then it was 2 and two and 3 quarter here. So this, so that'll that'll make up my my trailing edge piece and my leading edge piece. Which, remember I glued this piece of 8 inch by 5 eighths on there. And then, of course, I use my wonderful little razor plane. I can't say enough about these. Uh, to shave that down. And then then a little bit of sandpaper and got her there. there. At least that's the sander I used this time. So, now, wonder what this is. This here is... rubbing alcohol with some red food coloring in there and I don't know if I've got enough but we'll see I may have to I may just go ahead and put some more in there so it'll show up better hang on well it won't be so pretty well that bottle I had that had that red in there was a bottle I had from 15 years ago and I had about that much in there and so I just added some more alcohol to it and it was, I thought, eh, maybe that's a little thin. So I went to get the the food coloring, and it's all dried up. So uh, after church, I guess tomorrow, uh, when I stop by the grocery store on the way home, if I remember, and I maybe will for this case, I'll get some more food coloring, because I'd rather it be red. So anyway, so what do I do with this? Um, oh, uh, let's see, I guess for, I'll tell you this too. Um, 
course, I cut these, and then I also cut, of course, this is 332nd. It was a 332nd by 4 by 48 inch piece that I cut these out of to, and then, of course, ripped them down on my bandsaw to get what I got here. But then I also did this, I ripped these up, and this is eighth inch by three eighths that I cut out. Now, if you caught that, I said eighth inch, not three thirty second. I found out that it seems like it's a little bit easier if you just do it with eighth inch, and then once it's on there, you can sand it down, and it just... I don't know. I just think it works better. But so let me get you on the stand here. Okay, so here we go. We will take this rubbing alcohol and spray it on there. Yep. You can see it. There we go. And you see, I didn't tell you before, got the pins in here for locating. So, you know, you'll stick it up there and and then go down. But we'll put we'll put the medium CA on here. Seems like in the past, I remember, I'd probably used the, the thick or gel, whatever you want to call it. Then we just put it up here, push it up against the pin. Push it down. And roll it around the leading edge. Pull your pins out, because they ain't holding anything. There you go. Ta-da! And then you just keep right on going, and not like using that uh, that glue that they, it was brown that they used to use to uh, uh, put your sheeting on the foam wings, and then you, it was a rubbing, or a, contact type stuff and boy once you contacted it it was there not this way and that that stick that I've been flying on floats the blue one it's 15 at least 15 years old so and this is the way I did the B25 which eventually I hope to be getting it out uh, I'll put a picture in there too of it. So, or at the end. So, anyways, that's my procedure for building foam wings. Of course, I just gotta trim this off. I call this my, I call this my false leading edge. And then of course, once that's trimmed off and and fit there, and of course you've done the rest of it. Well, then I'll. Then I'll uh, put a regular, probably three sixteenths or something quarter inch or something leading edge onto the face of this. But fast, fast and straight. So I want I want to get some comments out of this. So um, there you go. God bless, and of course I'll I'll keep going. Um, and I want to 
I want to say I, I'll put those. I'll put the B25 picture on the end. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, now, Z Z Nick Zeroli designed B25 that was a 101 inch wingspan. And I took the plans and had them blown up to uh, 12 foot and then scratch built it. And I made the landing gear, the retractable gear and everything. And that's what Terry at Hummel's. Uh, got me some. I I made air cylinders for the to operate them, but the air just I'm I just like to try the electric. So I got some of them, and uh, our Terry got me some of them, and been working on them. So someday I'll get to the B25. But uh, so anyways, I'll put a picture of that, and uh, of course I'll tell you my my spinner at the end. There you go. God bless.